All right, now before I get started, this is going to be for Fanny in this video, especially if you're wondering who this um, this young man in the picture, this brother, he is in the, his name is Andrew Johnson, and he is the wrestler that was humiliated, degraded, and basically emasculated thanks to a white supremacy, white supremacist referee by the name of Alan Maloney. There's going to be profanity in the video, so if you are a parent with kids, get your kids out the room. And for those who and those who are um, a new sub sub to my channel, you already know the drill. So more, I know I'm late on the story, but there's like more stuffs been coming out, and I just found some information that was just posted just yesterday about concerning what even what happened on that what happened on that particular day. So as you can as you know, this is the infamous disturbing video about what happened to Andrew Johnson. So now this white supremacist by the name of Alan Maloney is trying to backpedal saying Raves had nothing to do with it. He's trying to enforce the rules. But this is what but mainly he just wanted to break to break break a black child. He didn't just not only do it to one, now he just turns out he tried to do it to, he did it to two black children. And um and, and that was on the very same day that this disturbing incident occurred. So I have the article and I'll post the link. It's I I went I would have read the whole thing, but the problem is I could only go for 10 minutes on this screen capture software. If y'all can recommend me another screen capture software where I can make videos and for a little longer time, so just let me know in the comment section. Now it turns out, as I was saying, basically long story short, that Alan Maloney, he didn't just go after Andrew Johnson. Johnson, you know, he first he said he needed to shave off his goatee. You see the picture, like, like why he looks so different? You see, he told him to shave that little goatee. It's just a little goatee, you know. And then he, then, then he said, like, his locks wasn't in his quote-unquote natural state when it fucking is. So then, and so basically he, so basically he asked was the excuse but now he's going to have to answer questions about, turns out, he went after another black kid. And rem and guess what? He went after um, Andrew Johnson's brother. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know which one it was. It's either his older or his younger brother. But as you can see in the photo, I'm, I'm going to assume maybe his younger brother as well. As you can see in the photo, look at both, both of his brothers. They were in a fro. And, it, and it's in its natural state. So basically, this Alan Maloney white supremacist contradicted himself yet a fucking again, and he just exposed his white supremacy. And it turns out that that demon, this demon, has a long history of being a white supremacist. Especially, he called a black referee the N word, and that brother took that ter like he heard he said so when he noticed he called like made a terroristic threat to him. That brother beat that white supremacist ass, rightfully so. That, you know, he ended up apologizing. But guess what? The school fucking kept him. Because they thought, oh, it's just a word. Oh, it's just a word. Just a It always starts, people think it starts small. But you only have to, but the only time you, you want to take action is when shit goes from bad to fucking worse. You don't wait till shit goes from bad to worse. When something bad happens, you nip it. You nip it in the butt. You nip white supremacy, anti-black racism in the fucking butt. It's shit that you don't take fucking lightly. So now, guess what? School's under fire, rightfully fucking so. District under fire, rightfully fucking so. And the coaches, the coaches, the team, and um, all the surrounding adults, and that's this happy bitch, need to be held the held to the fucking fire. And guess what? Even and I guess what even makes it worse? And it turns out that. At the first, I thought his parents weren't there, and they only learned only, like, later after the fact it happened. But no, turns out his mother was there. So so you sat there. You allowed the, the mother. You see, yeah, left him with the Philly shirt. You sat there. You allowed a white supremacist, supremacist degrade, emasculate, plant, try to plant the seed of doubt in your son's. You did not even step up to say something. What the? F you failed as a fucking mother. Even you need to be held to the fucking fire too. 
I know some folks are going to be like, he's not really black. Uh, he ain't not really black. He dirty from the Dominican Republic. That's a line full of fucking black folks. Now, I know, yes, there's like folks in the Dominican Republic who are in denial of black, fucking blackness. And even though, yes, I fortunately, I was fortunate to come across, you know, folks in the Dominican Republic who are proud of saying they're black. And even they said it is a fucking embarrassment when y'all do shit like that. If you're going to be saying you're not really black, that's like you saying Amalna Negra, who was born and raised in the Dominican Republic and then immigrated to the U.S., is not, is not Dominic, is not, is not black. You see how stupid you fucking sound and y'all look when you say shit, when folks try to say shit like that. And I'm going to say this to folks who are, who are so called Latino from Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, public, and so on and so forth, that try to run away from your blackness and try to hide your black ancestry, you try to deny it every, every chance you get to a point you even participate doing white supremacist, anti-black racist, dirty work to shit on black folks. White supremacists are letting you know how they always thought about you. They're letting you know they you get to see y'all and, and see y'all. They've all, they always have and always will see you just nothing but N words. They always always see seeing you as black. That's uh, and said y'all again. A lot of y'all are learning the hard fucking way. Y'all y'all are learning y'all y'all are black the hard fucking way. So take this as a fucking lesson. You kissing white supremacy and anti-black racism's ass is not gonna fucking save you. They'll use you until they ain't got no use for you. Especially with this low birth crisis going on, that they're going extra crazy. And y'all are catching hell, right? Catching hell from them too. And sadly, this poor brother, by the name of Andrew Johnson, had to catch that hell. And seeing him, especially even, even though he tried, even though that white supremacist demon, all it, all it was just was, he just wanted to break. Black children. He just wanted to break him and his brother. He singled out specifically two black children. That was no coincidence. But that brother and that brother still whooped ass. All it was, this demon want, was just wanting to do what white parents always do to our children. Try to break them. That's why we literally we have to be fight for our children. We have to literally prepare them. We have to tell, heck, while they're plotting to fight to attack our children, we got to be preparing our children how to fight, to like be ready to kind of attack and fight back and stand up against these demons. These cowardly ass demons. All I can say is, Andrew Johnson, young man, and they try to emasculate him too. They basically do want to break in the book. But I will say this, I don't know what your parents have taught you about the world around you. Like long story short, you just learned today. You are black. They see a black man. But let me tell you something. Don't ever be ashamed of being black. Don't ever fucking run run away from your blackness. And trust me, I will tell you this. If you were my son, if you were my kid and someone tried to pull some shit from you, I would have told you, no, we leaving. Your, your, your daddy and I would have told you, we leave, we leaving. Fuck the trophy. You ain't kiss, you ain't bowing down kissing no white supremacist's ass. And also, too, the moment they put their hand, the moment they try to put their hands on you, your daddy and I would have been whooping them them demons' ass. That's what the fuck would have happened if 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 you that was my son. But I'm even I'm even pissed off. You even you're not even my kid, and even it breaks my heart. But I will say is hold your head high. Don't ever be ashamed of your blackness. Don't ever run away from it, and don't ever kiss no demons' ass. That's my message to you. So. Comment, subscribe, let me know what you think.